So um, in this video, I want to talk about my friend. You've seen the title, so you know the story. It's an incredible story because I didn't think in the year 2023 that somebody could lose their job for having tattoos. But basically, um, he lost his job for having tattoos. He lost his job for being a legend. And um, yeah, it's the sort of thing that you think of happening like in 1990 or, or something like that. But yeah, he really lost his job for having tattoos, but he got another job a week later and there's a lot of work available. And this shows how quickly jobs move in China as well, because um, he was able to get an even better job straight away. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video is what do you do if you have tattoos and you want to come to China? Like, what's the like appropriate way to think about this? And basically, like, I would say that tattoos are a very common thing now, especially in cities. But if you are working in, 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 a, in a kindergarten or you're working in a school in China, you have to understand you're always a part of the marketing and their marketing idea about you might not be um, this guy with tattoos, this foreigner with tattoos. So just make sure before you come to China that they're aware that you have tattoos. And if you have like facial tattoos and stuff, I mean, it's not going to be super easy for you to get a job as a as an English teacher in China because people do have views about that. But if they're on your sleeve or something, you can wear one of those sleeves to like cover up cover up any tattoos that you have. But anyway, I'll just tell you the story. This guy, um, he is a friend of mine. He's um, an English teacher. I'm not going to say what country he's from, but there might be lines there. He's actually, I'm in the new house now. He's actually been into this house when it was like really rough and uh, we had a couple of beers to celebrate, um, you know, me, <coughs> us buying the house. And uh, yeah, so he hasn't seen it like this, but I hope he can see it soon. Anyway, this guy was working and um, he was doing really well at this job. And then a couple of parents complained because this kid started to really idolize him and said to his parents, um, I want a tattoo. I want to get a tattoo like um, like this guy and um, who we can call Pete, you know. So he said, I want a tattoo like Pete and um, I want to be the same as him. And his parents got really angry and made a big deal about it. The The school that he was working for was actually fairly reasonable. Like they, they said to him, look, here's a month's pay. We're not going to cancel your visa until you get another job. We're sorry about this, but yeah, we can't afford to lose students. And this also shows how competitive the market is now for students that the schools are willing to just lose teachers because they're so scared of losing students. So yeah, it's an interesting one. It's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting. But I just never thought that somebody could lose a job in 2023. This guy messaged me and he said, um, can you help me get a job? Um, do you know any like agents or whatever? And I referred him to some agents and he got a job a week later, less than a week later. Yeah, because today's Wednesday. So it's a pretty good news story in the sense that he got a job right away. Um, the agent that got him a job, her name is Vicky. Her English name is Vicky. She's in Beijing. And she messaged me and said she needs more foreigners. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, um, you know, I'm thinking about getting a job in China, but I don't know if it's easy. It is easy. Prepare your documents, sort yourself out, and um, it's easy to get a job in China. It's still easy. There's a lot of opportunities here. And... Um, yeah, like, I mean, sitting in this house, uh, I just think, like, what an amazing journey my own journey has been because I never thought that I would ever um, be a homeowner or be someone who had a place to live that, you know, was my own. And uh, my circumstances are pretty unique. You know, I bought this with my wife. I bought it next door to her parents' house. But it's still a huge achievement. And um, I've had some relatives kind of say, well, I don't care about your house. I want children and um, it's just like, oh, it's never enough, is it? But um, I'm just so proud that, that, that I've done this. And it's really like the purpose of this channel, it's not necessarily just to get clicks. It's not necessarily to get attention. But the purpose of this channel really is to talk to someone like myself, you know, someone whose life has become a little bit of a shipwreck, you could say, and to encourage them and kind of say, look, you can turn it around. You can make it better. You can change it. You can, you can do something completely, completely new. 
And um, becoming an English teacher in China is kind of similar to joining the army in a way. You, you completely leave your old way of life, your old group, and you go into a completely different world. And that can be a really wonderful thing sometimes. So look, if there's someone watching this who is going to job interviews, they're not getting jobs, their friends are starting to kind of think of them as the unemployed friend. Um, people are, you know, and, and there's, there's, there's always people in, in English teaching who try to present themselves as really successful or, I saw one that was really funny, this guy said, oh, I left the BBC News, now I want to work in a kindergarten, you know, and it's like, <laughs> okay. Um, but look, I wasn't a bad person just because I wasn't a successful person. I was too young to be successful or a failure. You know, I was still in my 20s. But it doesn't matter what age you are, if you're interested in changing your life in having a new kind of life or just having an experience for a couple of years, please send me an email. My email will be in the video. And one of the most uh, incredible things is actually helping people who have some Chinese ancestry. There was this guy that contacted me and um, some of his family was Chinese like 150 years ago. And um, he's like, I guess, 30 or, I don't know what it was, like it was sort of like, you know, not exactly half Chinese, but he was like, you know, looked Asian. Um, his dad's like fully Asian. I think his mom was like half, half Asian, um, half Chinese. And so this guy has like been this kind of like Asian guy his whole life, but he's never been to China. And then who is the person that's helping him um, get a job in China or who has helped him get a job in China? Me. And that's like such a special thing. Like, um, yeah, I don't really drink now, but if I did have a couple of beers and I thought about that, I reckon I could, you know, yeah, maybe get a bit emotional or something, but yeah, just really cool. But anyway, that's really special. But look, please, if you're thinking about coming over to China, email me and I will help you to make that happen and make it a really safe, easy transition, not anything fraught or dangerous or anything like that and i hope you like the new room i'll do a full tour when a little bit of more furniture arrives but just for the moment yeah this is all you get but these bookshelves i'm really happy with them i think they're really beautiful and um, anyway <laughs> hope you're all well bye bye